Whoa, now everybody, I'm your host, Lambo Drew. You are now tuned in to another edition of The Leverage Show. I'm telling y'all what, y'all do not want to miss this episode. I literally had to bring my purple gear on, man, just because I know my guy, Trigger Trey, was coming to the show because he stay locked and loaded, and y'all do not want to miss this. Listen, make sure y'all are getting this information out to each and every person that is out there. Literally, it's going down today. Y'all want to make sure y'all are definitely tapped in, man, and we are doing some great things. Listen, we're excited about this show tonight. Because, I mean, this guy right here, man, when I bring him on in just a few minutes, he has literally, man, helped bless my life and change my life and level me up to another level. Like, I, I'm going to speak on him before he gets on here in just a couple of minutes. But this guy right here, y'all are definitely going to want to make sure y'all are sharing this. The jewels, the nuggets, the insight, the depthness of this guy is literally like taking people by storm not only that he has leveled up thousands of people and he is continuously leveling up even more people like i said i don't go ahead and take this broadcast lightly and i don't want y'all to take this broadcast lightly because trigger trade has definitely been monumental in helping shape the culture and especially as being an influencer out there who I can call him my friend, my homeboy, my trigger trade. He knows when I hit him with, man, the moves, like I'm literally, man, gassing him, but he gasses me up every time I see his post, every time I see the energy, the text, the inner circle type of text, the stuff that's a way for what most people may see out in the spotlight. That is the gentleman that trigger Trey is. And if you guys don't know Trey Colley tonight, you guys are getting ready to get a real deep in, I'm talking about in depthness now, of a full one-on-one -on -one with the guy himself, Trick or Trey Colley. Not just that, he's doing this and decided to do this while he's actually traveling. Uh, and we caught him in the middle of his travel and he was just like, yo Lambo, I will come on the Leverage Show and I will make sure I do the Leverage Show definitely when i told him about it he said man give me the last day in the month which was the 28th today so i'm ecstatic to definitely go on ahead man and bring him on but before we bring him on here just in a minute i want to go on ahead and see who's in the chat so we can go ahead and level this up y'all make sure y'all keep this energy moving all so long because we coming baby like Deion sanders say we coming so make sure y'all get ready to come because we coming LA Law, I see you in the building. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope all is well. Good to see you, Kenor. Showing love. Shout out to you, LA Law. You know what time it is. Showing love in the chats, man. We come in here to make it poppin', man. Let's keep this energy going. If I literally had Trey Collie's energy, I'd be like this. He'd be dancing like this. That's how Trigger Trey be dancing all I can because he understands the energy that comes. And I love it because his energy and my energy, man, is like Max. He's the younger version of me. You understand? And so you definitely going to want to tap into this. Money, I see you in the building. Shout out to your money. Thank you for tapping in each and every single week and showing love in the broadcast. Truly, it's an amazing. It's a blessing. I thank each and every single one of y'all, man. This is what is here for. LA Law says, hi, money, showing love, man, right back to money. You know what time it is. It's definitely showing love into the building. We making it do what it do. My wifey is in the building. There she goes. Salute to the bride. Saying hello to everyone with the hearts. You know what time it is. Anytime my wife is in the building, Mrs. Lambo, it's getting ready to be a great time, man, on the show. So definitely make sure y'all are tapping in. You know what time. L.A. Law says, hello. Money says, hello, L.A. Law. Showing love right to back to L.A. Law. L.A. Law gives my wife some love. Hello, Mrs. Johnson. Showing love and everything, man. You know what time it is, man. Cutie Potato for Life says, Hello, Leverage family. What's up, Leverage? You know what time. Listen, y'all on the Leverage show, and we making sure that we are leveling up to a whole nother level. So thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Uh, Ellie Law says, hi, Cutie Potato for Life. Showing love to Cutie Potato for Life. Let's make it do what it do. Hi with the virtual hug. What's up, Fro? I see you in the building. Thank you for showing love on the Leverage show. It's definitely going down. L.A. Law and everything, man, saying, hey, hi, Fro. You know what time it is. Listen, I love that energy because y'all keep bringing that energy every time that y'all are in the chats and y'all continue to keep doing that listen that's what makes this show this show 
That's what makes this show unique. That's what makes the leverage show leveling up to a whole nother level is because of y'all. I'm telling y'all what I know. And I thank y'all for that. Listen, hopefully everybody had a great weekend. This getting ready to be a great weekend. It's even greater week. If your, your February month wasn't so good, for some odd reason, oh, it's getting ready to get better after Trey Collie finished with y'all tonight. So definitely y'all going to want to go ahead, man, and tap in. Listen, I really want to go ahead and bring this next guest on because I got to say this. I got a couple of things to say. When I first met Trey Collie, I met Trey Collie a few years back, almost three, three years ago to be exact. This was in 2020. I never forget this. And uh, me and Jake, Michelle, we, we're actually good, good friends and stuff like that away. And Jake and stuff like that, and I, he was, he was, he was hanging around this young guy. I was like, man, who is this young guy who's in his twenties? Like that, literally, like he's got this swagger about him. Like you knew there was something different about this young man. And I knew, I said, whatever he's doing, I want to be a partner. Shout out to my guy Revenue, because Revenue went on head man and said, Lambo, we might as well go ahead and jump on the team before they take off. And I'm telling you what. Since 2020, they have literally took off at a whole nother level. The, the, the whole team, I, I'm telling you this right now, has taken off to a whole nother level. And not just that, they're helping change the culture. They're helping change people. They're not just out here just to be flashing around and just showing people their toys and everything else. No, they're out here genuinely helping people. And as people level up to another level and want to grow their brands and grow their presence and grow their social media and everything else that's involved with it, they're the company to go to. And this young man, I'm telling you this right now, Trey Colley turned around and he took it by the horns. He said, you know what? I'm not only going to learn this business, I'm going to take it by the horns and I'm going to allow this business to be able to be impactful for so many people and help level their brand up. Because of that, this young man has truly helped level the brand up of some amazing people, man, who are out here. He's helped level my brand up. He leveled Lambo Drew before y'all really understood who Lambo Drew was. He leveled my family up. He leveled my friends up. I've sent people to him by the countless of people you don't even understand that have literally went on ahead and put money, not just money in his pockets, but allowed him to go on ahead and put an influence back into their lifestyle of the vision that they wanted. Without further ado, I couldn't be more esteemed to welcome to The Leverage Show, my good friend, and make sure y'all keep this energy going. Mr. Trey Collie's in the building, Trigger Trey as I call him. What's up, welcome to The Leverage Show. I'm excited to be here, bro. I'm excited and I'm not worthy of that praise. I'm not worthy, but you truly are a friend of mine and I'm glad I met you and I'm excited to help change more lives. And this is going to be a very influential call. We're going to go over a lot of stuff. And hopefully you guys get that one piece of information that helps change your life or redirect you to where you need to go. But excited to be here overall. Lambo Drew. You know what time it is. Right here, baby. You know what time it is, baby. Trigger Trey in the building, man. All the way in Arizona, I see. And we're a little up we didn't move the show up two hours today and stuff like that for yeah. you too, man. So shout out to you for that. Hey, I got I had to move it up two hours because I'm getting picked up in a Lambo in two hours. I know, I remember? Not, I kid you not. You'll see it on my story. Okay. <laughs> I look, I already know how you roll and stuff like that, trigger tray. For yeah. those who are out there, man, Leo, you live in the lifestyle, but he's also helping people, man, brand themselves. And literally, they roll the red carpet out for him, man. So I'm excited about that. My wifey and everything, man, definitely says, welcome, Trey. You already know. you have. She's heard so much about you through me, man. It's not even funny and stuff like that. So yeah, she got to show up. I'm glad she's here. I'm glad she's supporting. I mean, that means a lot to me. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Trigger Trey, man. Thank you. Money says welcome. You know what time it is, man. Money, yeah, man. Let's get more money. Let's get more money, baby. Hey, they get, <laughs> we get more money, man. That's for sure. They, they don't even have to worry about that. Dude, well, listen, we're excited, man, for you to come to the show. But listen, let everybody know, man, who is Trey Collie, man? We Everybody wants to know that. They've been hearing me talk about you for years. I've talked about you in my personal groups, my personal friends, and sent clients your way 
for you to help level it up. Who is Trey Collie and what does Trey Collie do, man? I mean, that was that's probably the hardest question tonight to answer, honestly. But <laughs> Trey Collie is a guy who grew up in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I grew up on a farm. I lived on a farm life. I was big into sports. I went to college, had a full ride for soccer, was the captain of the team. I'm a very competitive person. Also had to get a 4.0 because if you're not playing to win, I don't know why you're playing, right? That's my outlook and things. And that was going well, but I was still, you know, a little bit sad. I wasn't aligned with my vision. Uh, and basically my best friend, Stefan, who I know Drew knows very well too, yeah. he showed me this movie called The Secret. And that movie yeah. basically talks about how to live your dream life and the law of attraction so far for I remember going home after watching that movie and writing down all these different goals. Like I'm going to own a thousand properties. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a Lamborghini, everything you could imagine. And then my family's kind of like, yeah, sure. All right. You know, <laughs> and it went from that to me eventually just going all in on the business, setting my first goal of 10,000 a month. When that hit, you know, that was my point of dropping out. I got out of my hometown. I landed my first big client on a monthly retainer, which was the Jake D. Michelle, who would end up mentoring me. I would end up living with him and in Vegas. And once I was in that new environment, I was just watching Jake make all this money a month. That was all I needed because it starts with belief first. So one, once you understand it's possible, the rest is history, right? And then from there, I have became known for celebrity giveaways and celebrity yeah. marketing, you know, giving away tons of prizes uh one of our posts got over 8.7 million comments which is the third most commented picture on instagram uh maybe the fourth now right whatever it is we gave away like four motorcycles in brazil i do giveaways all across the world working with us international uh influencers and celebrities and I help them give back to their community and also utilize their influence and their credibility to grow many different brands who go out and leverage that to build their authority and their niche or industry so they can uh, do whatever they need to do, right? They want to make a social impact and they just want the social benefits of that or the business benefits. But uh, that turned into really just growing brands, uh, growing over a thousand plus brands, hundred million plus followers mm -hmm. all together. Um, and then to fast forward now, uh, really I'm running to an overall branding company. So the goal is obviously to be the number one branding company in the world. And we have subsidiary parts of that business from public relations, you know, PR, online branding, working, helping people with their Google presence to websites, to social media growth, marketing and so forth. So really we're just that one-stop shop and we're not a red tape business. You know, I'm the type of person, you know, Drew knows this, that you can call me at nine o'clock at night. I'll probably pick up whatever it be for my inner circle, my people. And I'm not really like that type of person that says you can only contact me nine to five. That's just not how I work. And uh, yeah, and, and it's cool. And that's post merge. I'm leaving a ton of stuff out right now. I went through a merger, right? And all this stuff, but we'll, we'll get to that, right? But Trey Colley is just a self-made entrepreneur. I'm 23 years old. I believe I'm the most successful person from the state of Virginia that is my age. So that sums it up. Yeah. Yeah, listen, listen. That I that I know. That I know. I know there's people like Mac McClung from Virginia that are in the NBA and stuff, but he's 24. Yeah. And there's other people, but I don't know if they make my type of money anyways. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Neither the, the type of influence that you actually have to help people, man, and, and allow 100%. people to 100 percent Yeah, it's all about the impact. I mean. Money is just an exchange for value. That's what people need to understand yeah. is that if you want to make more money, provide more value to society, stop looking at it as materialistic things or greed or any of that. Just simply know that if you go out and help people and you make a difference, they will compensate you for that. Right. And yeah. the other thing too is everyone has the money. If you provide enough value, they'll take out a credit line and pay you. Right. Yeah. If they think there's enough value in it. So really just be value oriented. A big mistake that people make is that they become so money hungry that they become blind on really what a business transaction is. And mm -hmm. so many people my age, especially, can even just ruin certain spaces, especially, I mean, in the, even in the credit space, right? You got people that are scamming and doing all these type of things, yeah. claiming, get, giving these crazy guarantees and so forth. And then it ruins the name because they're just money hungry. They're not, yeah. they're forgetting why they should be getting paid. And really, that's the only way to scale is if you build a proper foundation and understand that the most valuable currency is your reputable currency. So building a <laughs> reputation is arguably more valuable than anything. Right. Because that's something you really can't get back. So, yeah, your reputation is everything. Well, I, I got I literally have definitely uh, some great questions, man. But, you know, we talk about your reputation, dude. I mean, what was it that literally 
just triggered you? Because we hear college dropout and we hear people say, you got to go to college. You got to go get a degree. You're so young when you actually did it. What yeah. was it that what was that deciding factor that said, yep, school may not be for me when there's some, maybe some others who are out here who got to show this video to their sons, their daughters and friends, yeah. family and all of that. What was it that that, that went on ahead and struck that for you? For sure. And it was a, one of the hardest decisions of my life, but also one of the easiest decisions. It's hard to explain. But basically, my family is a very college oriented family. My sister got her master's at one of the top 10 business schools, UVA Darden. Uh, and and she got her master's. She went to college, right? Did that. Brother got his master's at William & Mary, was a top graduate of his MBA program. Sister, uh, you, um, again, both very successful in their own ways, but my family always grew up saying, Trey, get your law degree, get your PhD, get your yes. business degree, and you are going to have life set. And then really what it was, was it was Jake talking to me. I remember because it was getting to that point where I had to go back from Vegas to go to school. And I literally like, I just remember Jake talking to me and saying, why, why does this matter? Like you, why do you need, why do you think you need a degree? Like, right? Like, why do you want to safety? Like, why do you want this backup plan so bad? Right? It's not what you want to be doing. You don't need it. And mm -hmm. really the deciding factor is I was, I swear this is crazy, but this actually went down. Yeah. I got Jake telling me all this stuff, basically making fun of me and saying this stuff. And then I'm really on the line. I, it's really about, I don't know how to tell my parents, you know, it's, yeah. it's more about, I don't, I had a full ride, right? I had a full ride. I was the captain of the soccer team, but I wasn't happy. Right. Yeah. And, um, I also had a 4.0 and, Anyways, I remember we went on a, he took me to a mountain. It was me, John, Stefan, and Jay. He took me to a mountain. I went to the top and I was just meditating. I swear to you, I was mm -hmm. meditating and on the decision, like going into it with the, trying to make a decision that night. And I asked myself this question. I said, you know, should I drop out of college? And I heard this voice in the back of my head. I swear to you say, you already know the answers. You're just avoiding it. And I was just mm -hmm. like, wow like that's crazy and i realized that that's all like usually every time i have a question and i ask myself that i'm like i already know the answer it's just i don't want to do it right or i'm making excuses for it right it's like and, and that's really how it went down and then after that you know i went and dropped out i, I said this isn't this isn't for me and also you got to look at things from your future self perspective i always say this i always say you have to do it because your future self is counting on you and yeah. what causes depression is regret right you can always go back to college but you know you may not always be able to take that business opportunity that you had going for you could never you may never know what it was like to go all in you may have regret about dropping out right so it really just depends but nowadays we live in an era where you can really just learn everything you need almost free right on youtube on this podcast for instance right yeah. and there's just so much free value out there so you just really figure out what aligns with you and you need to, and we're going to talk about this. You need to understand the laws that are unseen that are governing your mm -hmm. life that you don't even understand yet, right? Like the law of attraction, the law of compound effect, even like mm -hmm. stuff like the law of gravity. I mean, like you just got to understand these laws that you can't see and, you know, understand that you already have all the tools you need, right? And mm -hmm. so forth. And we'll, we'll get into that. But it, it, the decision was really Jake <laughs> in my ear. And yeah. then, Hearing that voice that said, "You already know what you want to do. You already know the answer. Why are you Why are you avoiding it? You know, yeah. you got to rip the bandaid off." So rip the bandaid off. I love that analogy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rip the bandaid off. So now you got to tell me. You know, from the time when you heard the decision, and shout out to Wayne. And I quoted this again. Lil Wayne said, I'm "Talking to myself because I am my own consultant." And sometimes yeah. you have to learn to talk to yourself because yeah. God already put the right voice and the right path already in you. You just need to understand to come in alignment with that. So mm -hmm. once you, you made the decision, what's the next step after this point, Trey? Like, what do you do? Do you sit down and you start talking to people or like talking to yourself or you start road mapping out? Because I guarantee you there's a gang of people who are out there in that same ballpark that you were at right after you came from meditating and making that decision. Yeah. So, I already had a business going for me, right? So I'd already start quick jump. So then once that happened, my full time job was to blow this thing up. And if you don't sacrifice for your dreams, your dreams are going to become a sacrifice. So you have to understand that if you're not willing to put the work in, you're never going to get the result because whatever you put in is what you get out. Yeah. And 
people would often ask me, you know, looking back at it, like when I was, you know, 20 making good money, um, they'd say, how do you make so much money? I'd go, because I'm working four times as much as you like, what type of question is that? Mm -hmm. Right. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, you're sleeping. I'm up at 6 a.m. I would wake up at 6 a.m. Right. And I would, you know, put my vibrational music on and I would just get to work, you know, and just start. And I would take calls all day long. I would DM people all day long, right. Networking, building, and there was no excuses. I just knew I saw the vision. I knew it was coming and nothing really changed. It just, I had more, I didn't have that in my mind anymore. It was just all in and you have to go all in on whatever you decide to do. You got to go all in. You can't just stick your feet in the water and you've got to just jump in. And once you jump in, you'll figure it out. Right. And you know, it, it went from like, I remember hitting, it was crazy. Like my first year of entrepreneurship, like I started halfway into the year, you know, around, um, you know, around May and June. And it went from like May to June. And then on uh, that year in 2020, I did 300,000 cash collected plus uh, in my company. And it's just crazy to think about. And then, then the next year did over a million and then just kept building, kept three Xing, you know, and, and then the, we're going to talk about this too, but also what yeah. completely changed my life was moving to that mansion with Jake. That was just a different talk about being in an environment where you can't lose. You know, if you're in, an, you know, some people make the mistake of like buying off more they can chew, but man, that was the best decision. I have no, that was the best decision ever was moving to a mansion because just, you're just vibrating on a different frequency. You wake up and you feel rich. Yeah. And then people also, it helps a lot when you're talking to someone, they think you're rich and they, you're someone that people want to talk to, right? Because yeah. people want to work with people that are in the position they want to be in. They want to talk to them in the position they want to be in. They want to be around people that know something that you don't. So being in, you know, that massive 6,000 square foot mansion uh, at such a young age was just, it was just everything, right? But it didn't start off like that. But I kept doing, I kept working every single day. And when you're working every single day, that every single week towards one singular goal, right? You're going to have breakthroughs. People need to understand they give up so fast because they work 10 days in a row and they expect something crazy to happen. Life works through breakthroughs. So you have to do the right, you have to keep making the right decision over and over and over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. You don't know <clears throat> if the breakthrough is going to happen on the 20th right, right uh, answer or the 40th or the 60th. But it doesn't matter. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. And it's going to happen in the right time. It's, you got to trust the process. You got to trust God, right? You got to understand yeah. you're aligned with your purpose. And if you're making the right decisions over and over and over again, again, you always have this voice in your head. For instance, you wake up in the morning. Let's just say you're trying to wake up at 6 a.m. Waking up at 6 a.m. is not easy. Wake up at 6 a.m. Yeah. What's the first thing you think? I want to go back to bed. Yeah. First wrong decision you made today. You're already, yeah. you already lost. If you win the morning, you win the day is what I always say. So you can't even get up in the morning. How do you expect to be successful or anything? So what I would do is I literally would put my, I'd have two phones because I won't work now. I got a bunch more, but I would yeah. set my phones like across from my bed when I'd go to bed. 6 a.m. The alarm's going off. I usually put like a certain song that gets me going, that gets me hyped, that reminds me, that, that makes me feel like, why am I doing this to the vision? And then the first thing you do is hop in the cold shower because after that cold shower, there's nothing more that can be worse and more suffering than that. Right. So yeah. once I've done that, everything else is easy for the rest of the day. And then I start off doing my most important tasks and people just need to reverse engineer your goals. Like, you know, we were talking about this earlier, like you got to reverse engineer your goals. So, you know, you got to figure out what you want, when you want it by, and then you break down the ladder steps on how to get there. And it's not going to be fully detailed. You have to leave some things open. Right. But you need to know where you're going. Because I always use this analogy, right? When we're born in a life, we're like a sailboat. And when you <laughs> set out to sea and you don't know the X mark of the map on the map, what's going to happen? Where are you yeah. going to go? Right? You're going to yeah. just go with the wind, the current, you're going to go wherever your friends, your family, they, hey, go this way, go that way, go that way. Why not figure out where you want to go? I want, this is my dream house. This is my dream family. This is my dream car. This is how much I want to make. These are the countries I want to travel to. Why would you not fill in the blanks? People are going through life. If we go to Walmart, if we go anywhere, right? And we ask them, describe your dream life. What do you, they don't know. If you yeah. don't know what you want, how are you ever expecting this? But you don't even know what you want. How are you expecting mm -hmm. anyone to give you what you want if you don't know what you want? So the first thing is figuring out what you want. Second thing is figuring out when you want to buy. Oh, you want to, yeah. I know, I know people that also, they know what they want. But they don't know what they want to buy. Oh, I want to be a millionaire. When? Yeah. And, 
uh, I guess this age is fine. I'm like, what does a millionaire mean? Like, what does that even mean to you? Like, you just want to be worth $1 million or do you want to be making a million a year? Or like, you want, what assets do you own? Like what industry, what niche? Like you got to start figuring the details and people say, oh, well, I don't know all that. <clears throat> start researching, start getting into it, start learning. You know, again, um, your net worth is just a result of your self-worth. So if you're, you're making exactly how much value you're providing to society. So if you want to make more, figure out how much value you can provide. And you have to understand that you're always learning. There is no such thing as, oh, I know everything now. I'm making this much. Things are great. No, you're always getting it. You never get it. You never figure it all out, right? You just got to keep learning and understand that you are a student. And the only way that you're going to continue to grow is, you know, understanding what your teachability index is, which is really a scale of one to 10 on how bad you want it. How many things are you going to sacrifice and trade off to get to where you want to be? You know, because you can't bring your friends to the top. You can't bring your family to the top in a lot of cases. Yeah. You're going to have to go yeah. on alone. It's going to be a lonely, dark path in a lot of cases. You're going to go through a lot of suffering. So you have to be willing to do all that. If you're not willing to do it, then of course, then that's fine. Stick with what your life is and don't complain about the people that are living their life. Because I'm sure it wasn't just easy, you know, walk in the park for them. And for me, I'm leaving out all the little dark moments on where the boat was about to sink. Yeah. You know, as an yeah. entrepreneur, you know, everyone that's an entrepreneur out there knows that we have to deal with so much more anxiety than the regular person. Yeah. Anytime someone could charge back 30K on me, right? Or whatever, yeah. it is, you know, you, or yeah. someone's going to sue me for whatever, or someone's going to extort me or blackmail me or whatever it is. And it's going to, that's just life. That's just, and again, it, and when you get richer, it doesn't necessarily solve all your problems. It just makes your problems more complicated, but it gives you more freedom of time, which is the cool part, right? It gives you the freedom and the ability to do things that you want to do. And you can do whatever you want, whatever you want. That's the cool part. It doesn't solve all the other problems, though. And money doesn't last forever. You got to just because you have money doesn't mean you're set. You got to make your money, make money. And it's a complicated and it's not about how much you make. It's about how much you keep. You can make a million dollars and spend it all. Like, yeah. <clears throat> sorry, I got, got attacked with the cold traveling all the time, but sorry, I don't, I don't even know what the question was at this point. I just went off, but. No, 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 no. You, you talk about, man, about a million dollars and stuff like that, dude. Yeah. About people not being able to keep it. <laughs> For sure. Dude, no, nah, I think it's, I get you, get you some water, man. Dude, I'm, I'm laughing because. I, you know, I want to talk about, man, some of those, those dark times. Cause I remember, man, it was one time, Trey, you hit me up. I think you were traveling or something like that. I don't know if it was California, Mexico, or somewhere in that area. And there was a time, man, when you, you went out and the person, it was either was you lost money on the trip or somebody had did the charge back on the trip, wherever you were, it was like, it was on the trip and you lost possessions like something was stolen from you or something like that why you on the trip talk about that man. I, I, mean, I, got, I don't even know which time that was you know it's, <laughs> it's, again it's not people need to understand that like people uh, social media is a highlight reel right mm -hmm. they're not posting all the bad things that happened i'll tell you about a really dark time of mine though it was when it was last year it was 2022 it was the beginning of 2022 i want you to imagine me Mm -hmm. I'm on top of the world at the end of 2020. I'm on top of the world. Things are going so great. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you write down your new year's resolution, all these goals, you don't plan for all this other crap to happen. Right? Yeah. You don't plan to get mugged or whatever it may be. You don't plan on that happening. So when you have stuff that just completely smacks you down, right, you yeah. just got to get ready to get back up. But for me, I was doing a celebrity giveaway in Brazil. And mm -hmm. this is the first time I've gone in person in Brazil and done all this. And what ended up happening was, I ended up getting food poisoning like right off the bat. And that was just a battle to find a hospital that would take me in because no one spoke English. And I was like on my deathbed. Like it's it was bad. Like I could not keep anything down. I drank water at the hotel uh, by mistake because it was a really nice hotel. So you'd think that the water there was good. Yeah. And my poor judgment and, you know, it, it was bad. And I was up till you know, 3 a.m. And we went from one hospital to the next. And finally, we found a private hospital. They took me in. And I remember they gave me like this little tiny blanket to cover me. I was fucking freezing in there. Excuse <laughs> my performance, but I was freezing in there. And I, and no one spoke English. I didn't know what was going on. And I was in a third world country. And like, I was like, wow, like we are so fragile. Like at any time we can take, they just have our life taken from us. And, you know, that was just a terrible experience. And then 
I think that dropped my frequency, mm -hmm. right? Like it just put me in a bad state. And I then I, every, it's like, I always says when one bad thing happens, that's when all the strikes are one. So when that happened, I started getting extorted for the first time. I was getting extorted for tons of money. You know, people threatening me with all sorts of fake stuff. Like, you know, like we'll publish all these fake articles about you if you don't pay us this much, or we'll go in and delete your Instagram account if you don't do this. If you don't send us 20,000 Bitcoin right now, we're going to do this. Or we're going to go spam, you know, the we're going to go tell everyone that you did. Like, just, just to get money out of me, right? Just like, yeah. it's all like BS and fake. And while that happened, I bought a twenty thousand dollar Rolex, and the guy, I well, I was supposed to meet, scammed me for the Rolex, and then um, this other person hacked in one of my companies. I was doing a hundred thousand months, committed bank fraud, and stole and destroyed the entire company, and then basically put me out of the e-commerce game because I was so burnt out that, of it at that point, and basically just completely stole a huge amount of money off a of payout. And then I'm still going after. I'm not going to say too much about that, but that will be handled. Um, and all this will be handled, right? And you got to build, I'll get to all that later too. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, so like, and then at that time too, I had a, I was just so naive and that was like a big mistake. That's why I say like, it's not about how much you make, it's about how much you keep. But mm -hmm. I had an accounts receivables of over half a million dollars too at that time. Yeah. And it's not, it's not a good feeling to trust people to pay you, not realizing that they they are just gonna screw you. I, I wired a guy seventy thousand dollars for a guaranteed ROI of of forty five percent in six months, and he scanned me. Um, again, every bad thing could possibly happen at once, and it, it ran me over like a truck. I was getting extorted, so I didn't know if I could continue with Quick Jump. Right? They kept every time I would launch a giveaway, they would delete my giveaway page. Right? And they were just hitting me at all angles, um, and it was really rough and bad for my mental health. And, and then I started getting psoriasis because of the food poisoning when I was back in the States. And I started getting these dots all over me and I couldn't go outside. And then that was like at the point where I was at the all time lowest. And I, you know, I think everyone asked this question to themselves at one point, like, would you kill yourself? Right. And I go, hell no, I would kill everyone else that did this to you before I'd kill myself. That's what I literally like said, like was talking to myself about, like, no, I would go out and kill all these people who did this to you before. I'd kill like, that is Killing myself makes no sense, right? Yeah. You know, I'm not suicidal. I don't think, I think it's, you know, I'm not going to say anything about it, but it doesn't solve anything. Anyway, yeah. and I came to the conclusion that all that this was happening to me was for the purpose for me to learn and grow. And I'm just getting a giant ego check. This was God's way of telling me, like, sit your butt right down. You yeah. are not, you are nothing. You are, you can have this all taken away from you in a second. You're not who you think you are. And then, <clears throat> That became boot camp. So I, I stopped running quick jump for a bit. So I actually went dormant for a little bit and, you know, trying to figure out what to do. And I couldn't even really use my answer because I'm getting extorted, right? I can't do what I was doing to make all my money. Yeah. And I have all these people that owe me money and all this stuff. And so what I did was I just focused on what I could control. So I, I realized that I will, because I was traveling around the world and doing all these things, I always made excuses not to go to the gym, not to eat a certain way, not to read the books that I should be reading and doing all these things I should be doing. And I decided, you know, okay, I'm going to start going to the gym every day. I'm going to start reading these books and start self-educating. And I'm going to see the bad of me not being able to go outside because I have all these dots over my face. And I'm going to use that energy towards good energy. And I'm going to just keep doing what I can to level up myself in this way and develop more skill sets and so forth. And what ended up happening was I was going to the gym at 1 a.m. every single day. Um, and people will never know this on Instagram. I was going to the gym at 1 a.m. every single day because I was so embarrassed of these marks all over me. And I would just had this weird schedule and I was just really grinding my butt off, working, building new things and trying new things. And all of a sudden, you know, you fast forward, um, and this was happening in February, March, you know, and then all of a sudden, April, biggest month of my life at the time, I did over 300,000 in a month in a new <laughs> service that I've never sold before in my life. The stars aligned. I got a call and said, Hey, Trey, I have this great connection. I want to connect you to him, connect to him. I unleashed on my network. Tsunami of income came in. It's all because I focused and I didn't <laughs> give up. Right. And what people need to understand is like, in life, when you ask God or you ask yourself, right, what you want and, and you write down what you want, you don't understand that if you saw what you had to go through to get that, you wouldn't want it. <laughs> that's, yeah. the, 
or yeah. about it. Right? That's why it remains a mystery, right? So that's why you're never told, oh, right? And and like people, like you got to be sculpted like marble. You got to go through these things that really define you and build character. And the truth is, you know, it's never about the money. It's about the person that you have to become mm. in order to become a millionaire, right? You mm. have to go through experiences, situations, scenarios, and meet all sorts of people or go through all these up and down moments of life to build and become the person that can handle that type of wealth, right? Mm. When you see these millionaires stuff, understand they've been like, it's not easy going. Like you're seeing the end result. You have no idea what they went through. You have no idea what they're going through, whatever it is. And a lot of times they're just super educated and they spent this a narrow path on a certain goal and that's what it was and people understand like you just got to figure out what you're doing every single day like a lot of people like need to understand you're not working towards your goals like what are you what did you do yesterday what did you do the day before that what did you do the day before that did you wake up as listen I, like as someone who's come on did or did you wake up at 6 a.m and did you read for 30 minutes and then did you go yeah. write down what your goals again every single day until it's imprinted into your brain then you go DM 50 people just to network and just connect with them and then get on calls with them. And then did you DM all the business owners that you knew in your area just to see what they're doing, how they're doing it, how they just to continue to learn and grow. Like you got to want it so bad, right? Mm. And if you don't want it, then you're never going to get it. So it's just like, that's just how life is. And, you know, I'm, there isn't, there isn't like, I can't just give it to you, right? I can't just say, this is the sauce, like go out and get it. it. It's a complicated thing, but it comes down to, Figuring out what you want, when you want it by. And the three things that will change your life is you watch the movie The Secret, you order the book Think and Grow Rich, and you get a journal and you write in it every single day of your <laughs> life, your goals, what you learned that day. You can't trust your brain to remember everything. Imagine if you had to trust your brain to remember. You got to write it down on a piece of paper. Even that feeling, that connection, write it down makes a huge difference in everything. And you got to reverse engineer your goals. And not just that, what's your yearly goal? What's your five-year goal? What's your 12-month goal? <laughs> you know, what that 12 month, one year, what's your six month goal, three month, one month, you know, uh, two week, one week, and then your next day, you got to break it all down. Right. And again, once you do that, it becomes a lot easier because then you can start measuring it and what gets tracked gets measured. So then, you know, okay, I started on this date and now I'm here and I actually learned a lot. And you can see in the journal, what you've learned, who you've done and what you've done. I do a thing called scoring my day, which has helped me so much. And people need to track time. People don't understand mm -hmm. how much time they're wasting, right? You know, for instance, after the show, Lambo Drew, you know, how much time are you going to, you know, spend watching a show or whatever it may be or reading a book or doing something helpful or maybe unhelpful, right? And we mm -hmm. lots of times I go on my phone, I'm on TikTok, and I just wasted 40 minutes of my time that could have been yeah. used making money, yeah. right? Or it could have been used to helping myself or going to the gym or whatever it was, you know? And that's the mistake that people get, get in is that they don't track their time. Mm -hmm. When you wake up, track your time. You woke up at 10 a.m. And that's already, you're already off to a bad start. You're waking up at 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, then what did you do? Oh, well, I went on my phone for an hour. Then I got out of bed at 11 a.m. Then I brushed my teeth. How long did it take to brush your teeth? Take two minutes. Take every detail you need to measure out. You need to know yeah. exactly what you're doing. And then you need to, you kind of replace bad habits with good habits. So what happens is, is that, okay, I took 40 minutes in the morning to watching TikToks. Replace mm -hmm. that with something else. Right. Yeah. So what are you going to replace it with? Are you going to wake up? Or are you going to read a book? Or are you too tired to do that? Okay. Go on a jog, go to the gym, uh, um, write down your manifestations, review your goals, something productive, something helpful. Right. And yeah. or doing, or if you already have your business going, work on your business, grow your business and, yeah. and do the hardest task of the day. Cause that way, every single day in the morning, you already got your hardest task done. Everything on top is bonuses. You're just getting extra far ahead. That's how you have to look at life. And you got to remind yourself and you got to, Feel what it feels to mm. get in that Lamborghini, right? You got to feel mm. that Lamborghini. You got to mm. know, remind yourself, oh my gosh, this is why I'm doing it. Because when I go and drop my kids off at school in the Lambo and seeing all the other parents' faces, like, who is that? Yeah. Oh, that is why I'm doing it. That is, it, life's about, in the way the law of attraction works, the law of attraction is so important because it's 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 working in your life right now, whether you like it or not. So you better figure it out, right? Break, break, it, break it down. Break the laws down because- People need yeah. to understand this. This is so important what Trey getting ready to say. I need y'all to hone in real quick. Go ahead, Trey. Yep. So there's laws that govern the universe. And basically one of my favorite laws is the law of attraction. So I'll break that law down to you. So basically mm -hmm. we attract what we are and what we feel, right? Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds weird, but I mean, if you're thinking about whatever it may be, if you're constantly thinking about money and making money, odds are you're mm -hmm. going to figure it out eventually. 
right? But if you're just thinking about it, you're not doing anything to do it, then you're not thinking about it the way you should be thinking about it. You got to be thinking about, okay, money, how do I make money today? How do I make $300, $500 today? And then once you start thinking about it, then that allows uh, you to attract situations, scenarios, people, and opportunities in your life to get that, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking about a girl or whatever, maybe you're thinking about a guy, that is what you're going to attract on your daily basis. So right now, you have literally created yourself today. So your past self four years ago created who you are today based off your past self's thoughts and actions and emotions, right? And there's no arguing that. It's exactly how it is, right? So what people need to understand is you got to start off by controlling your thoughts. So mm -hmm. understand this, your brain is the most powerful computer or not the most powerful computer, it's the most powerful device in the world. And it's mm -hmm. equal, um, and the most powerful computer in the world is equal to 77,000 processors, right? That's equal to one second of normal brain activity. That's how much more powerful your brain is than any other device in the world. Mm -hmm. So you already have this massive asset, right? And you have to look at your brain like a giant antenna, right? And it's putting mm -hmm. out a certain frequency. So we're a bunch of molecules, a bunch of cells vibrating. We're actually a giant vibration happening, right? Mm -hmm. Simultaneously all together. And when you understand, okay, so we're literally a vibration. We're literally a frequency. See, the school system, they don't want you to know this. This is what the rich people know that no one else knows, right? Mm -hmm. And so if we're antenna, if we're an antenna, like a magnet, we're vibrating. Guess what? We're getting, we're getting pulled into a certain direction, right? So mm -hmm. how do you think you tune into a radio and you're playing a certain song? You're tuning into a frequency. You can turn and tune into a wealth frequency. You can vibrate mm -hmm. at someone that attracts that lame brigade. You can vibrate and you can also vibrate into a frequency into uh you know bad decisions you know you're doing drugs and you're getting lost in the sauce you're vibrating at a, at a frequency where you might go to jail tonight right you may get pulled over you may get jumped you need to vibrate at a frequency where you are around and people that are also attracted to things you want to attract and you need to be really in control of your vibration because if you're thinking about it if you're listening to sad music and you feel sad you're going to attract things that make you feel sad it's just how it is. But if you're smiling and you're being happy, you're listening to good music and you're good vibes, right? You're going to attract things that continue to give you a similar feeling, right? And you need to really think about what your thoughts are on a daily basis. So it's really important to meditate. I know that sounds stupid, but <laughs> meditation is key because you have to separate yourself from your mind. We've gone our whole lives thinking that we are your thought. We are our thoughts. We're not your thoughts. Think about this, right? I want everyone to do this for me. Whenever it's raining outside, go out and sit and just listen to the rain, you're going to hear a voice that says, oh, those are raindrops. Who is that voice? That's not you. You just heard it, right? <laughs> Think about that. You heard a voice in your head that goes, those are raindrops. That's not you. You got to learn to control that. That is because if you let that constant programmed voice in your head, your mind tell you what to do and tell you how to react, tell you how to feel all day. Oh, this bad thing happened. You should feel bad. You should go lay in bed all day. You don't feel like it, right? No, nah. but if you're feeling good and you're feeling happy and something bad happened, you said, oh, well, you know, and you still see the good in it, then you're going to keep attracting good things to see. If you always keep seeing the good in bad situations, and that's what you're just, it's just how it works. We're an antenna, we're a magnet. We attract what we put out. Think about it. Do this for me. Go out in traffic and start flicking people off, do those things. What are you going to get back? Bunch of people flicking you back off and getting get, in, get in the same thing, right? So that is just how life is. It's all happening all around us, right? Whether we like it or not. If you're constantly thinking about red lights and red lights and when you're in a hurry, you're going to keep hitting every dang red light that's going to keep bringing you late. But if you're thinking positively about it, you know, often that things are going to work out for you. So mm. the, uh, the law of attraction is like attracts like, right? So you attract people that are like you. So be very careful on who you're hanging around, right? Because if you're hanging around a bunch of bums, you're going to be the next one, right? And you are the average of the five most people you're around the most. So again, be very careful on who you gave your time and energy to because we are energy. And when you're hanging around a bunch of bad energy, you're going to attract bad energy. There's no such thing as a giant, there's a huge billionaire hanging out with a bunch of people that are worth 10 million. <coughs> it's not, it's not possible. That's just not how it works. He could not, if he did that, he would no longer be a billionaire. He would be trading yeah. off being a billionaire to hang out with those people that are worth 10 million, um, <clears throat> 10 million dollars. And, uh, you know, like these people that are worth the billion, like they understand all this. They're not giving regular people their time because they're vibrating at a certain frequency. If that vibrations yeah. around, it's going to attract things that they do not want to attract into their life. <laughs> and successful people um, know this. And um, a really powerful uh, seminar that everyone sh should listen to is. <clears throat> your wish is your command. 
Um, and Kevin is the guy who goes over and he breaks all this down into pure depth. You got to start off by watching me in the secret too, but uh, they break down all this stuff in even further detail. Talk about literally like, won't go too much into it, but you know, there's secret societies out there that talk about this stuff and everyone in that's group knows it. And you know, a lot of people that are outside the group, they're not going to know what's going on. Right. But uh, they talk about this, they share this and they don't want you to know. Right. <coughs> Sorry. I'm, I think a girl got me sick, but only you, Trey. But anyways, um, like yeah. seriously, like, they think about it. Why would why would they want you to co to compete with them? Why would they want that? Right? They yeah. want you to be a consumer for the rest of your life. They're gonna be the yeah. ones making the content for you to consume. They're gonna be the one making the products for you to consume, and they got you by the hook. And they're gonna keep fishing you and fishing you. They don't want fish. Think about it. When you go fishing, right? When you go fishing, my wife said, do, <laughs> do, "Do you want do you want other fishermen fishing right next to you? Be honest. If no, you don't, no. Yeah, you don't, right? So why would they tell you where their honey hole is? Why would you tell them the sauce? Why would they tell you what bait they're using? All this stuff they don't want you to know." But if you're in these little clubs, right, all everyone yeah. on Forbes 400 list, they're all in, in these little groups. That I'm not going to talk about, but just trust me, the rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper. And you got to just want to know the truth. So many people in life, they don't want to know the truth. And that's why mm. they'll never get the truth. And that's just how it is. That is the law of attraction. You get what you like. You get, If you want to know something, if you want money, you'll get money. Right. Yeah. If you want to know the truth, you're going to get the truth. You just got to be open minded. So many people. Mm. The poorest people be the most closed minded people. You go mm. to, you know, I think a person said, you know, um, this one person said, I want to be a millionaire. And all the poor people said, no, no, you're never going to be a millionaire. And the one millionaire was just like, I believe it, you know, because like, yeah. and that's just, you got to surround yourself with people with the right mindset. Uh, and you got to be open minded because you may, the way you're thinking may be causing you to go into this route. And you need to listen to people that are in the position you want to be in. Stop getting advice mm -hmm. from losers. You're going to be, it doesn't literally, the logic of that doesn't make any sense. And not only that, but stop getting advice from someone that knows nothing about, why are you getting advice about real estate from someone that doesn't have a $50 million portfolio, right? <laughs> or, or doesn't have a, think about it. Why are you getting advice about, you're going, that's why I don't like about college is that you go and major for, I don't like uh, business majors in college because you're learning about business from someone that's never had a multi-million dollar company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they went and got you know, their degree. And then they're teaching about business. They're teaching about something that they really don't know about. Guess what? What I learned, vocabulary words do not matter in business at all. They will not help you. They're not going to benefit you. What matters in business is experience, right? And what value yeah. you bring to the marketplace. It really comes with experience and network. So that's what you really have to focus on. You just got to get your feet wet and you got to get started overall. <coughs> My throat is hating this. I, but, see, but, dude. I don't give up. I don't give up, baby. We got we got lives to change here, brother. And, and we're we're doing just that and stuff like that. Trigger Trey, you know, I, I there is uh, we talk about the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. There's two more of the laws that I want you to kind of get into because the law of attraction is really good. But let's talk about those two other laws that people can actually put out there. And this is a law that's actually out here already. Let's talk For about sure. those. So the law of compound effect, there's a law of the compound effect, right? And the compound effect basically states that you, that the way success works is through breakthroughs, through singular actions consistently. Mm -hmm. So what that means is if you're doing the right decision over and over and over and over and over and over and over again to have that breakthrough. So if a great analogy is going to the gym, right? So if you go to the gym every single day for one year, you're going to have that breakthrough where finally you see that six pack. It doesn't happen where you go to the gym one day and you do you do all you do every single workout you can possibly do you overload it one day and then it just happens no you got to deep making the right decision over that's how it works with business too right mm -hmm. it's about making the right business decision over and over and over and over and over the right financial decision over and over and over and over the right self education over the food everything mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about literally just states that and there's a really good book on this called the slide edge if you want to look more into this mm -hmm. the slide edge basically goes over this that all again, it's one of the secrets that successful, happy people, they know these laws that govern the world, right? The law of compound effect, it, you don't, you, that's why you have to do long term planning. That's why you have to break all these down. That's why I talk about, you know, goal planning from one day to one week. It's like, because you have to keep doing it over and over and over mm -hmm. to have that breakthrough. And then, bam, 
you know, you, you, you're making 2K months. You're making 2K months. You're making 2K. You're making 2.3. You're making 2.4. Then 6K. Now you're making 6K. It doesn't happen where you go yeah. from 2K to 6K as soon as you made a decision, but you keep doing it. And then, bam, you that new service, that new product, that new client comes in. And now you're making 6K months. Now it's 6K, 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 6K 6.2, 6.4, 6.8, 10k 10k to now you're making 10k a month and that's just how it works and uh, there's another powerful called the law of cause and effect and, and you know <laughs> you got to understand that law whatever you put in you get out you go for instance you know you're going to a bad neighborhood where in a big chain and all this stuff what's gonna happen Tell them when you're gonna get robbed they're gonna take it out you they're gonna yeah. get it out you. yep 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 and like again you guys you got to put yourself in situations where you're gonna get good results right and, you know, if, if you hang out with a bunch of people that um, are bums, then what's the effect of that? You're going to be a bum. But if you're hanging out with a bunch of millionaires and a lot of high-level people, you provide value to them, they're going to bring you up. You're going to become a millionaire, right? And then the same thing with the gym that I mentioned, law, cause, and effect. You're going to the gym every day. What's going to happen? You become brave. You're going to come shredded. If you're working on your business, you're working on money every day, and you're willing to learn, accept new ways of making money, whatever it is, and you're open-minded about that, eventually you're going to have that breakthrough. Eventually you're going to see it, right? And if you're self-education, if you're learning about business, if you're learning about something every single day, eventually you're going to get it. You're yeah. going to understand it, right? That's the, there's these, again, all these different laws that these people understand. There's also like secondary laws. There's First, the, the law of attraction is a secondary law, the law of vibration. The law of vibration is basically breaking down that we're all vibrating, that everything around me is vibrating. I attracted this. Right. And it's because I am vibrating on this certain frequency. For instance, I'm not on the frequency yet where I'm on that penthouse floor in New York that's worth 30, 50 million. It's because that's just not who I am yet. Yeah. But once I meet yeah. those people, gain those connections and start making that type of money, then suddenly I'm vibrating at a complete different level. And that's where you have to get to. And the same thing works with, you know, religion or spiritually. If you're going out and you're meditating, you're reading the gospel every single day, you're going to be on a completely different relationship with God and be on a completely different spiritual frequency um, and connection. And that's based off what the input that you put in was, right? Again, you have to do this over and over and over again, and you can't just do it for a few days and give up. And because that, that's, that's, you're always going to get the same result, right? So you got to understand that you create your future self. Mm -hmm. So understand that you create your future self. What do you, what future self are you creating is the first thing, like describe, like describe your dream self. Like if there is no in life, what is your dream self like, right? How are they mm -hmm. nice? Are they kind? Are they funny? Are, is there an aura around you? When you walk in the room, does everyone go like, who is that? Right. Yeah. And, and then do, do people feel safe around you? They feel confident around you? Like, Oh, I got Lambo drew with me. I'm good. Like nothing's happened to me. Like, and, and then when I'm with Lambo drew, I know, you know, if nothing else, Lambert Drew's got that bill. Lambert Drew is going to get in this, like, yeah. you're hopping in what car? You're going back to what house? You are you look like what? You Who who are you hanging around? What's the vibe? What are you doing on the weekends? Like, describe that in detail. Describe it, right? Because until you describe it, because once you, once you make a reality, then it becomes an option, right? You have to literally create your own reality. I created this version of myself. I used to be a chicken boy on a farm going, bah, 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 bah. you hear that? See, that's the real, I was that person, right? I was a chicken boy on a farm, you know, with horses, all this stuff. And then I created, you know, this monster that I am today because I described, you know, like what the life I want to live. I wanted to be mobile. I wanted to make money from anywhere in the world at any time, right? I wanted freedom. Mm -hmm. I wanted influence. I want to make an impact. I want to grow my brands. I want to meet influencers. I want to meet celebrities. I want to write books and all these different things. And, you know, I want to be able to be invited on podcasts and be blessed with that opportunity where I can share knowledge of what I went through. And I filled in these dots, you know, and, and certain things on, along the path are going to change. Like I, I didn't expect for me to be that guy that wears pearls, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's, it is what I am now. Right. But, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and again, Dude, you, the pearls is dope. Trigger trade that stuff. <laughs> you, but you gotta, you gotta create your future self again. How how you act, how do you feel, and you also can't take life too seriously. You never want to be around that guy that's always just or girl that's just always in a bad mood or complaining about something or causing drama or all that. You gotta be. You get you attract what you are. They're complaining their drama. What are they gonna get? complain drama blah, blah blah that's all they're gonna get and that's all and they're gonna bring you down that frequency so you're gonna get that too because they can't be happy neither can you right so you need to be around positive uplifting people um that really are bringing you up and again everything in life has a trade-off 
right? So what are you willing to trade off? Is it friends, family? Is it, you know, sleep? It, what is it? Is it, you know, like you have to figure that out. So once you make that trade off, you, know, you got to understand that, you know, it, it, it's just the process you can't, you can't live the exact same life you're living and, and live the exact dream life that you want to live. It's not how it works. There's trade-offs, you know? Um, again, there's a reason that a Lamborghini's only got two doors. Like, oh, well, it did, you know? Um, now they got the Urus, but, you know, when you're, yeah. you're driving to the top, you can't fit too many people in it. It's not a bus, you know what I'm saying? You can't bring the whole crew on. But once you become successful, that is when you're able to actually get back to your community, get back to your family, get back to your friends. So they got to trust you and trust the process of you doing it. That's why you need supportive people around you. Think about yeah. it. If your friends don't understand that you're doing this for them. They F them. Tell them, the, you know, you don't come back. Don't come back in the Lambo to pick them up. You know what I'm saying? Only pick the real ones up that are around you. And, yeah. and the fortunate thing is that you can choose what you did with the success that you made. You can choose to, you know, focus on you or do what you want to do or you could focus to get back it's all up to you, right? Just understand that it's all abundant. Everything mm -hmm. around me. Someone made money selling this. Someone made money selling this. Someone created this. Someone got paid to do this. There's money everywhere. You go outside, the land was money. The land cost money. The grass was planted. The, who delivered the seeds for the grass? There's money everywhere. So stop thinking that, you know, you're, you're when you spend money, you can always make more. That's what I always tell myself. It's like, you know, being... 23. Now it's like, I, I, I want to spend it while I have it at the same time. And, and I also want to plan it and grow it. But um, I understand that money, if I spend, you want to be the person that knows if you can spend 1000 a day, it also means you can make 2000. Talk to them. Talk to them. Like, and that doesn't mean go out and just reckless spend because like, oh, I'm going to make more. No, no. Create a system yeah. that allows you to do it. Create a business that allows you to do it. Even better, what I did is I created a business that allowed me to monetize it and make more when I spend more. So the more mm. I spend on a nicer car, the more money I'm going to make because the more respect and credibility that I gain and the more that I grow my brand or whatever it may be, I can monetize all this. So when I travel and I'm in Arizona, you know, people are like, that's not, not anyone can do that. You know, this guy's got to be someone legit. He's got to have some sort of money, right? And then you just got to keep monetizing that stuff and make it make sense. You don't want to just be dumping money at the club and then not get anything out of it. But you want to figure out how, you know, you can, again, it, it comes down to also investing in yourself. Like yeah. you got, you, you make what you are, right? So consider yeah. this, consider that you have some money in the bank to put it towards yourself, grow your brand, grow your grow, buy some courses if needed, you know, mm -hmm. buy, just buy something that's actually going to take you to the next level. That's going to make you better. That's going to allow you to make more because you'll make, you make what you are. So if you, if you can create um, a better version of yourself, that may put you at a new bar where you're making, you know, from what you're making a year to what you're making a month and you got to believe it's possible because mm -hmm. so in life, right. So it's really key. You can only achieve what you believe to be possible. So the way that positive and magic, so the antidepressant, right? So depression is from uh, lack of faith, lack of hope, lack of positive. Literally, weariness is a type of manifestation. Why worry? Because mm. where you're manifesting negativeness, you need to focus on positiveness and good and success and so forth. And that is the positive imagination. I want you to imagine you get into a car, right? and you slam on the gas, you can only go so fast. You can only go 180 miles per hour, whatever it is, right? That's because that car was built and designed that way. So when we build a design our lives, whatever we consider is the the top, like this is success, that's as far as we're ever going to go. Whatever that mm -hmm. network was, you, you don't accidentally make an $100 million. You don't accidentally make a million dollars. If you say, okay, my dream income is uh, 50 k a month, that's as I hope you love that income because that's yes. as far as you're going to go. You're even going to make yeah. more than 50 Right. And then, but you also want to be realistic. You're so sober, but you have to understand that, you know, if you shoot for the moon, you land in the stars, you shoot for the stars, land in the moon, or you land in the clouds, so much better than where you were before. Right. So, yeah. yeah, everyone needs to stay positive. They need to be around positive people. And that's so important. You got to understand that you know nothing. I'd be willing to be always be willing to be proven right. Like, if I had a billionaire next to me, he's a Trey, I don't think that's right. I wouldn't be like, no, you're wrong. I'd be like, okay. Yeah. You know, like what's like what's your thoughts on this? And 
he would, um, you know, tell me something. And I also wouldn't take it and run with it. I would take it like a grain of salt. Say, let me put this in the back of my mind. Let me keep doing my due diligence and learn and see if this makes sense. And what I've noticed of all that I put together, all that I'm saying, this is just through all my life experience that I put together and all the research and stuff that I have, people that I've talked to so far, because I've spoke to billions, I've spoke to multimillionaires. I'm taking all this data and knowledge, I'm putting it together through what I've crafted so far, right? Mm. And you know, over time, it may change a little bit, but overall though, this is pretty straightforward uh, to what um, you, know, you gotta do, right? Again, the first part, it's like building a YouTube channel. For me, like I haven't built my YouTube channel because I haven't been posting. Right. Yeah. So whenever I get in, I get up. I'm not posting on how they ever, how am I ever supposed to gain subscribers? Right. So yeah, it, it really just comes to that. Dude, it, it, but I'm gonna make you laugh, man. And this this is the truth. I mean, something you say it, man, something so key. Billions, I love that. Expand the limits, man. Get the limits. If there's anything that Trey was has talked about tonight, it has literally been expanding yourself to a whole nother level. And getting yourself out of where you've been currently at. I was with a client, Trey, uh, maybe maybe a week ago or so. Uh, I, I, I can't even think of exactly what it was. But the client wanted to say, yo, Andrew, I want to be able to do 50000 a month. Now, this is 50000 a month from not having any stream of income coming in before then. Okay? But that wasn't gold. That was just a mile. He said it in milestones. I want you to show me how to do this. So we sat down and I gave him a, a straight up plan and he began to execute that plan. So he'll be seeing next month, 50,000 a month guarantee. He said, now that you didn't literally put it in black and white, I want a hundred thousand a month. And what it is is that we have nobody and a lot of us don't have that. We don't have nobody who really challenges us that can make 50,000 in a month, 100,000 in a day. Let's let's be real, 100,000 in a day, 300,000 in a month. We don't have people who are lined up to do that. But then when you get in front of people like the Trey Collies, when you get in front of the Jakes, when you get in front of my guy, man, shout out to my guy, Stefan, man. He, you know, you get in front of these guys who are doing these numbers because they've been around the other guys. Now you see it's possible. Out here on the Leverage Show, man, that's what we show people. We show people like, yo, the guests that came on, network with them. Not only is it possible for them, it's probable and possible for you. Your lifestyle can change. So when we look at Trey Colley, man, you know, and everybody else is saying the form guy from Virginia, oh, he'll never be this. He'll never be that. He won't really make it an amount to this. Trey Colley looks back at him and says, I'm just getting ready to apply the pressure. You must haven't checked the track record yet. You must haven't seen what I've done yet. You must haven't seen what the team has done yet. And we're going to continue to apply the pressure. But you're applying the pressure by helping people. And this is what we love about you, Trey. This is what we love about the team. Not just you, but the entire team. You guys are putting pressure because you guys are helping build people up and build people's brand and build people in their vision and furthering them. Literally, when someone comes to you, Trey, I really want to know this, somebody who's out there, and they say, Trey, and, I, and I'm hoping that you have the autograph and you're signing the autographs, and I'm already speaking that into existence. Of, of the of the guys in the, the, the little guys and the little girls coming up and they say Trey I want you to show me how to be like you what will your response be in the future when somebody said man show me how to be like you show me how to do it what you do um it's a, again a tough question how to be like Trey first off when to go back to what you said you know people saying that uh you know, you can't amount to this or like that, that they have this false perception of you and who you are, right? Just know if like a psychic looked at your palm, you can always change what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can, you can change your direction. That just means you're going this way. You can always decide to start going a different direction. It's all on you. You are your decisions, right? So you can, you're the one who makes decisions. You got to take full accountability of my life, of your life, right? I just decided to take full accountability where I'm at and then just angle it and hit certain spots. So Drew, I was telling you this, my, my yearbook quote was, um, 
uh, gosh, I'm having a, uh, okay. Yeah. So my yearbook quote was the best revenge is master success by Frank Sinatra. Right. And well, that basically was my big, like, Drop it one more time for the people in the back. Hold on, Dre. Dre yeah. We're going to hit the rewind, but beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Hit it again. The best <laughs> revenge is massive success, right? And that was my big thing. To Basically, me saying to for the past 18 years, all of you guys are going to regret the way you treat. You didn't talk to me mm -hmm. a certain way. You did. You're all going to regret this. It was my point. So now looking, now that I'm kind of famous and everything and successful, like I, they they send me pictures of that yearbook like people that went to my class and i know that they're looking all i know a lot of people are looking for specifically what my when they see it, like oh my gosh like he called it like he <laughs> he, he called it right but to be like trey collie you need to when someone says you can't be be something I, I remember someone came to me we were playing this basketball championship like in the intramural league and you know this team that was crushing everyone this mom like someone's mom like said to me it was just like are you ready to lose today and i go who decided that i said i will be the one to decide <laughs> and then we won you know so like because I, I i like like you just gotta say like who the, who the hell why are you letting them decide for you go yeah. out and do it a trey collie is someone who never gives up a trey collie is someone who plays until his hands bleeds you know mm -hmm. he i i used to i was a as a child i used to have frostbite all over my hands from playing basketball in the freezing cold and my hands would chap until they were black and with dried up blood. And I, and that's how bad I wanted to win. And yeah. I, I, it's just a pure winner. And I would do anything to win. And I will practice and I will train until I know I can beat you. There is no beating me. You got to want it that bad. Losing is not an option. I'm not, you cannot, yeah. you can never be a Trey Colley and play and not play to win like i always play to win at everything i do in the business world i don't play to be the number one i mean i don't play to be the the runner-up company i plan to be number one yeah. and i plan to, to surpass them i don't hate on my competitors i let them do their thing i don't even focus on them i know that i i can do it and i can surpass all of them and i'm very confident in that right so you have to believe in yourself over everyone you need to understand that you can do it if you don't believe you can do it then you can never do it and you got to work so hard that losing is impossible and winning is inevitable. And when you get knocked down, get back up, get knocked down, get back up, get back up, get back up. And eventually you're going to just be unstoppable. So really just like never give up on your dreams, work as hard as possible as you can. And I guarantee you'll eventually get results. You have to stay consistent and persistent and success is inevitable. If you are training more than anyone else, right? Eventually you are going to have a breakthrough you're going to become a new person literally transform into a new person right and we are all capable of that and also they say that what hell is is when you're on your deathbed and you meet the person you could have been so just understand that understand that you have a version of you that's waiting to be brought into life and it's up to you to bring that person into your life right it's the same person you it's you right now but it's that version of you it's the clark kent superhero version of you that you could be the person speaking around the world the person that is traveling around the world that has the dream family that has the dream cars the dream house that is a reality of yours it exists and somewhere in all these realities it exists you have to bring that reality alive right mm. yep mm. coach yep. Rashid, shout out to you coach Coach say stretch goals and unrealistic income becomes reality. Shout out to you, coach. Yep. Coach, coach, thank you. Losing is impossible. Success is inevitable. Love it, love it, love it. See, this right here is what I'm talking about. You have to be operating at another level. And, and when I mean that, not just you're operating at another level, you're dominating at another level. You know, Trey, you got over almost 700,000 people on Instagram. You understand? You've helped out. You've been with, seen with some of the greatest people who are out here helping level them up. You got, let's talk about some of those people that you got a chance to be with, level up with, man. What did you learn about them? Like Young Pinch and some of those other people, man. What did you get a chance to learn about them, man, of hanging around them and some of these models that you're actually with and stuff? Like yeah, so. yeah. So what's crazy is that all these people are just regular people that, like, it's so hard to explain. It's just, like, they are – they they're just regular people. Like, there's nothing really – 
I hate to say it, but there's nothing really special about it. like I, I'm not really when I meet them, like I'm not phased at all. Like this is just a person that grew up probably in a different environment and they went through a lot of bad things and eventually they kept staying consistent with their goal. Like Young Pinch, he stayed consistent with his goal as a music career, eventually he had a breakthrough. Carly Lawrence yeah. stayed consistent to her goal, and then eventually she got on the Netflix show that put her on the map, right? Yeah. Um a good buddy of mine, JD Youngin, who died um now but he he was literally in the game for such a long time and he was the one that put his whole entire city on the map and you know he was just consistent he was persistent all these people have the same you know exact uh basically a <laughs> sorry i got a call well, one sec um, yeah how did it, i'm trying to figure out how to bring this back up all right, there we go. There we go. It's so funny. I, I just got a call from someone named Peter Parker. What are the odds of that? Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man's calling me right now. But uh, yeah. So as I was saying, like a lot of these celebrities and influencers, like they're they're regular people. They're not smarter than you. They're not. They're they they they're just regular people with their own vibe, their own energy. They just surrounded themselves and they attracted these type of scenarios, people and opportunities in their lives. You can do the exact same thing. Like seriously, like, you mm -hmm. know, it, it really, but you also have to be realistic in some aspect, right? You can't, not everyone go to the NBA, not everyone's going to do something, but you can still do similar things as the NBA, right? If you, if you want to go, if you love basketball, that's what you do, become a basketball YouTuber, right? And make that your passion. Start a new brand that aligns with that. You don't have to exactly be the NBA. Plus, if you're your own YouTuber, you're your own boss. All these people yeah. that are like that are athletes, right? You know, they can't do whatever they want, right? And you know, the most valuable thing that you can do now, and the most valuable asset that you can own is your own audience, right? Own your own audience, build your own brand. That's what's gonna make you free. If you have yeah. a million subscribers and you charge all of them a dollar a month. You're making a million a month net. Think about that, mm. right? You have a hundred thousand subscribers. Lambo Drew's got a hundred thousand. He says, "Guys, I'm giving you all this free value. All you gotta do is pay me five dollars a month to keep doing yep. it." They're gonna want to do that. They're getting more. Are you providing more than five dollars with the value? Of course you are. So it's a yep. no-brainer for them to do that. Now Lambo Drew's making half a million a month, and he's changing all these lives. He's changing thousands of lives. He's getting paid for it. That's all it is. You gotta break it down. You gotta simplify. But People like Mr. Beast, who's literally, I think, 24 and just worth probably $10 billion. Like, yeah. these people are becoming insanely wealthy because they own their own audience. And if you yeah. want to make it, and what the great part about owning your own audience, and that's what changed my life, that's how I changed lives. And, do you know, these people like Young Pitch, all these influencers, they just own their own audience. That's the that's the commonality of all of them. They just, that's all they are. They, they're just someone who's well-known, who has influence, who owns their own audience, right? And they get paid for that. They get brand deals for that, you know, and, you know, their supporters support them and, you know, them themselves support other people. They have their own people that they're fans of and so forth, right? So you have to decide, like, hey, am I comfortable, you know, building a brand like that? And maybe not building a brand is not for everyone, right? Maybe you don't have to do it, but I guarantee you know something that someone else doesn't or you have a passion or you have a gift that not everyone has. So if you can fulfill that role, and if you have that, it's a shame that you're not giving that back to society, right? If you, yeah. if, <clears throat> so, you know, you got to figure out what your passion is, what your purpose is. And you got to go for it. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to build a brand, but you got to figure out what your passion or your purpose is. And there's um, there's millions of ways to make millions of dollars. Like there's, you could make money again. Look all around me. There, I could point out probably, I could probably point out like maybe 100, 200 different ways based off this image of around me on how you can make a million dollars from the stuff in this room right you can wholesale the tvs you can create the tvs you can build the hazy you can do drop shipping you could do amazon fba you can do amazon automation you can do drop shipping on walmart you can do facebook automation mm -hmm. you could you know um build you could cut the trees down to make the wood around me you mm -hmm. could be a carpenter you could be a painter like you there's I, i'm just like this there's all yeah. these ways to make money it's out there it's just waiting for you you have to learn the skill sets and be able to provide the value to get it right so for me, I just look at things with like sparkles in my eyes all around me. I'm always looking, you know, so I see it around me. I see successful people. When I see someone in a Lamborghini, I don't start hating and say, oh, they're daddy. I don't say like, wow, that yeah. person looks like a regular person. I know I can do that. I know I see I 
I see it and it motivates me. It's like, thank you for that. Like, thank you for showing me that lame. Now I know I see, you know, this casual person. And I'm like, I can, if he can do it, I can do it. That's how you have to look at it. Not like, oh, well, I don't have that because I went through this or I did this and he has it because he did this. No, get it. When you see something, you should feel, you know, a spark in you, a rise in you. Like, wow, yeah. that that it's right there. That Lamborghini could be mine. It's right next to me right now. Like that could easily be my Lamborghini right now. And, you know, how can I get that Lamborghini? You go home and you, and then you go home and you read a book on how to get a Lamborghini. You're going to eventually get a Lamborghini, yeah. right? You know yeah. the ice and the cake for Lambo Drew is when he gets that Lambo. You know it's coming. It's inevitable. Yeah. If he stays on the path, it's going to happen, right? Man, this, this literally, this literally is the levels that people need to hear because there's so many people when they see a lot, they see a person like operating like the I-8, your dream car, that I-8, dude. Let's talk about that. Was it I-8 or was, or was yeah. it the Audi? That, that yeah, was so the, uh, 2019 I-8, so it's like the newest I-8 that makes. I made the dealership wrap the car like matte black, like a Batmobile for me. It was over six figures and it it is literally my it, it, it's just a different game it's a different vibe it's so worth it like having it i it was 22 when i i was 22 when i bought it and having a supercar at that age like i would i built this life i really did i, I was running a house in la for seven thousand a month then i think about this i'd wake up build my businesses make this money then i'd go and network with other millionaires in my i8 and then i'd go mm -hmm. to 500 dollars dinners with my twenty thousand dollar rolex on and then i'd go pick up you know, a beautiful girl and take her on a date. And I took, I took martial arts classes too. I took dance classes. So I'm going on dates with girls and I know how to dance. I can swirl them up, pick them up. You know, you're, I'm becoming the best man I can possibly become. I know how to sell. I take jujitsu. I know how to defend myself. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I got my gun permit, you know, not in LA, but back in Virginia beach, you know, and that's just, you got to fill in these blanks. You know, it's not going to magically happen. You got to figure out what is your dream self? Well, my dream self is not someone who can just walk up and beat me up. My dream self is someone that can, you know, is Batman. That I can, you know, they they come to me or they try to threaten me and my family. My family can look at me yeah. as someone that can protect them, right? And that's just how the, like, that's just how us humans as animals are, right? And in, in the animal kingdom, the male has got to be the person protecting and providing for the family. It's what it is. And, you know, everyone's got to understand, like, and I, I say male because I real, I'm a guy, so I relate to myself. Again, these are the similar aspects. As a female, you're going to want to have a gun, too. Trust me, you're going to want to know self-defense, too. Like, it's the same thing, right? But, um, and for me, like, uh, like, I never really was, like, obsessed with, like, dancing or martial arts and stuff. It's just stuff that I knew was the piece of the puzzles that the creation that I'm the version of myself that I'm creating where I'm happiest, where, you know, and then the next thing for me is to get, you know, a lot of uh, buffer and to fill in and to get become that dream body, you know, um, <laughs> and, and that's that's part of the plan. And, and I understand that. But having the I-8 is just like seeing I, I see people like smile and they, it just changes. It just changes the energy in the room. And it's also like it's just so hard to explain just picking up my friends in it and just seeing their happy faces and seeing like it's just such a good vibe, like. I don't know. Like it's just you get one life. You gotta go for it. You gotta yeah. live. Your I'm telling you, it'd be the biggest regret if you don't go for it. If you don't work every day towards it. And that I'm also looking at the result of five years of work. You know, mm. yeah, work every single day. You know, and then when people see it, they just think that it happened overnight. It did not happen overnight. I went through so much to get that car and my watch and everything. And you know, uh, and you know, eventually my next car, I want to get a G wagon. That's my next thing on the board. But then I don't just buy things. Like I'm not going to just get the G wagon. I told myself I have to buy four more properties before I can buy a G wagon. Yeah. I gotta, so I have to have a certain portfolio. Think about it. I, you attract what you are for me to have that G wagon. I need to be the person that has the G wagon, have the net worth and have those assets because those properties that they're cash flowing positive, they can pay for that G wagon. Right. And also in a G wagon is, um, 6,000 pounds plus in weight. So it's a tax deductible car that you can get. Again, this is just the game of the rich. It's a monopoly game. You've got to figure mm -hmm. it out. You got to figure out what taxes are, what they mm -hmm. look for, what's tax deductible, what is and isn't, you know, and be prepared for an audit, be prepared for all of this. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and, and then with real estate, I mean, that's what I've been getting into recently. And that is, uh, that is, there are more millionaires made with real estate than any other thing. So what I can recommend yeah. anyone is eventually store your money in asset like real asset like real estate. Real estate yeah. 
going to go up and down, but overall, it's always going to go up. You know, my parents, you know, they told me that they bought a house for like 200K and they just held on to it. And this was like, you know, 20 years ago. Now it's probably worth like 800,000 or a million dollars. It's just crazy to wrap my head around. You know, because I was yeah. talking about the interest rates and the prices that I'm paying. And it's just like, yeah, it's crazy because 20 years ago, that same house was only this much, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And like for me, like I don't you don't just like, again, I have to set goals to like to reward myself. And plus, if you never reward yourself for hitting goals, then it's going to become unsatisfying. So you have to find that perfect balance where you're not just buying everything and treating everything that you want you got to earn it at the same time right and mm. if i go through a week a weekend or a week where i spend a lot of money then guess what the next three weeks i'm working my butt off yep. you know, to get it back and then some and then make a lot more so then i could keep on doing that and get to that point it's not what it seems so many people mm. you know they spend their life savings on a watch or whatever a car or whatever it is you know don't believe don't let that Get you down like they're ahead of you or not you may have a bigger network than that kid that yeah. is, is doing it but then at the same time you got to figure out the trade-off of that right so is it better to spend money to live a happier better life like do you want to just do you need to have all that money you make do you mm. want to share, like like you got to make these decisions only you can make the decisions right yeah. would you rather make less but you travel a lot more would you rather make less but you drive your dream car would you or if you're like me, you say, F it, I want it all, all of the above. Give me, give me the dream family, give me the dream again. But there's trade-offs for that. When I when I have my wedding, there may be a lot less people there because because you know that yeah. I cut everyone off in the process. Or I made all these new friends and new people that are cool. And they the people that I originally thought were gonna be at my wedding aren't the ones that end up coming. It's all the new friends and new people that I make mm -hmm. that are really close and supportive with me and so forth, right? So again, like you got to understand what you want, when you want it by, then understand that there's a trade off for that. Yes, it is. Ways to make a million dollars. Shout out to your blue sky on that. Thank you for tapping in. A yes. million ways to make a million dollars. This is so true. <clears throat> I just don't even know this. I built this life. Yes, you. And the thing about it is, is that we build the life, and, and like as, as Trey said. We build it by every thought, not just by the works of our hands as well, and the creativity of our, we build it by thoughts predicated by our actions. So if you want to build that, man, you build it, man, build it from the inside out. So many people are trying to build a lifestyle from the outside in because you're trying to go in here, man, and to please to everybody else. And that's not the lifestyle that should be designing and lined up for you. You have to understand that everybody can't be a boss. They got to have some workers somewhere. Everybody can't be a boss. And I, I need y'all to understand that. You can probably be a boss in your arena. You may be the boss of, I don't know, other employees or whatever the case may be. But somebody has to be a boss in that area. But you can level yourself up outside of that. Blue Sky says, becoming the best I can become. Yes, Yes. Who are, you know what? I, I, all the time I go all in on everything I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. Own your audience. I love it. I love it. I love it. Blue sky. We have to understand that these things in life, they come from us because of God has already put a, a creative thought inside of you. And when God has put a creative thought inside of you, that creative thought is for you to manifestate that thought. And then you you to fulfill it out inside. You you literally have to bring it out of you. So when you think of something like, man, am I worth it? Yes, you are worth it. You need to understand that you are worth the lifestyle that you are in. Some people don't think that they're worth the marriage or worth the lifestyle or worth the business or worth themselves living a stress free life. You are worth it. Again, stop paying attention to what the negative has been distracting you with and understand that you are worth it. Now go on ahead and figure out what it is to work that, to work that thought and manifestate that thing out of you and build it together. Trey has done just that. Not only in everything has he thought the thought, what do I need to do to go on ahead and create this lifestyle? I know for someone who wants to be a millionaire, right? I've done the numbers. Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, I want to be a millionaire. Well, what does it take for you to be that millionaire? 
it takes you to make $83,333,000 a month to become one millionaire, to have $1 million at the end of one year. So, oh, well, my, I don't know if I can do that. Well, can you do $21,000 a week? Let's break it down. That's really simple if you understand that, if you're doing that type of volume. But not just that. What do you want? Some It may be something where you may want a physical attribute. Trey was talking about going to the gym, getting all buff, getting all muscles, so you can come back out. Like, what is it that you want? Sometimes it's not a monetary thing. Sometimes it's a physical thing. Sometimes it's an internal thing. What is it in the lifestyle that you want? And go get it. Don't stop till you go get it because it will be fulfilled. Trey, man, I'm telling tell you, man, you dropped so much knowledge out here tonight, dude. I really want to thank you because I know and everything, man, your time is anything is short, but I really want to thank you, dude, for dropping so much knowledge on here tonight. Listen, if you can leave anything with this leverage show audience tonight and someone who's out there who's watching, what could you leave them with that they will literally tap into another stream, another vibration, another level that they can take that current and begin to start moving in the lifestyle that they, they dream and desire? To? Yeah, so... What I will say, and I feel that's most important, right, over anything else is that God is real. We are on a creation, therefore there is a creator, and we are co-creators of God. So we have the ability to create, which is very important to understand. So we can literally bring things to reality, and it all starts with our thoughts. So how we think, and then it relates to our actions and so forth. And you always need to focus on how you feel. Feeling is so important because you attract what you feel. If you're sad, you're going to attract sad things. If you're happy, you're going to attract things happy. And guess what? I feel lucky. So what happens? I get lucky a lot, right? And you have to feel a certain way and so forth. And that there's three things that you need to do. If you haven't done already, it's watch the movie The Secret, read the book Think and Grow Rich, and get a journal in it and take that journal very seriously. I don't want you to say, oh, I like taking notes on my phone. You can do that too, but you need a journal on top of everything else. And in that journal, you need to write down your daily goals. You write, if you learn something, if you're on a sales card, whatever, write it down. Keep writing that because you that's how you really measure everything. Write down your monthly goals, your yearly goals, your five-year goals, your 10-year goals. Write down your dream self. Create that new version of yourself. Figure out where you want to be, when you want to be it by, how much money you need to make, all the specifics and details. And you don't need to get too hung up on the how, right? So when you look at you know a daunting task and making 100K a month or whatever it is, the how doesn't really matter in the moment. The how is going to appear. It's going to show itself, right? Just keep doing everything that you can, right, to get closer to it. If you understand you make 100K a month, I guarantee you can figure out what you need to do today to get closer to that, what videos you need to watch, what work ethic you need to have, what thing, what habits you need to develop, right? Mm -hmm. And guess what? millionaires are more studied than anything else nowadays, right? We know exactly how Andrew Carnegie thinks. We know exactly how Elon Musk thinks, what they do, what their habits are, and so forth. Listen to people in the position they want to be in, but also understand this. They're not going to tell you all that sauce, right? You got to figure out the rest on yourself and take everything like a grain of salt. A lot of the stuff that I said, I know it to be true and it's true for me. Take it and sit on it. Think about it. Implement it. Right. And then as you gain more and more information, go through more and more experience, you'll be like, I remember Trey said that too. He said that these people know this. And I just saw that that was true in this case. And then just keep the, you know, keep it in the back. And also say, you can't remember everything in your head. It would drive you crazy if you try to remember everything. You, you got to write it down. Again, write down your goals, write down, track your time, figure out what always plan. I didn't mention this, but always plan what you're going to do tomorrow the night before. It's so mm. important. Mm. You got to figure out how, what mm. are exactly from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. You're going to do what from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Because if you go into every single day and you mm. don't know exactly what you're going to do, you're just going to wander around. Again, it's like being out on sea and you're just going with the wind and the current wherever it takes. You don't want to be on a boat where you don't have someone steering the ship, right? Yeah. I want to be on a boat where we know where we're going and we know when we're supposed to get there. I don't want to be on a boat where we're just going around and wherever, you know, we don't <laughs> wherever. I want to be in the boat that knows the X mark on the map. Not only that, but you know the treasure you're going for. Where Not only the X mark, what is that treasure? What is that fulfillment of life? What is that purpose of life? Write down in that journal what makes you happy. What makes you feel good? What are you most proud about so far? If you mm. could do anything in the world with no restrictions, if you had unlimited money, what would you do? Right? 
If you had no restrictions on who you could be as a person, what is that person like? What accolades do they have? What impact do they make? What would make you happiest on your deathbed that you are most proud of doing, right? Look into the look into the future and think about what are you going to regret most not doing? What are you going to regret most not going for? You got to think about these things or it's going to be too late because life goes by like this. I can tell you someone's 23. Every year I get older, the clock gets faster for some reason. I don't know how it works. <laughs> It just gets faster and faster and faster. And I'm a I'm a young person who's very self-aware of that, right? And I do have a yeah. lot of wisdom for my age, and I went out and did it, right? And I can tell you, and if I can help you, and if I can just give you that one piece of information that saves you or, or redirects you to the right direction you're going to go, but you have to ask yourself all these type of questions. And it's it's okay to take time to think about these things. So many people, they get caught in this hamster wheel. They're, every single day, they just do this. They just keep doing this. Take 10 minutes and just sit in silence. Just let your thoughts recollect, right? Figure out that you're not that voice in your head. You're listening to that voice. Utilize your brain properly. You know, utilize and eat the right things. Do all the right things. Why not do all the right things? Why not be the best person you can become? Why not? Why make an excuse? You're going to give me an excuse. I say you're going to give me an excuse. Why? Why? Why can't you be it? You're only holding yourself back. It's those pre-norm that you've already put in place that these teachers, all these other people are putting in place on you. Take the chains off, break through the matrix and go for it. I'm telling you, you were sent here for a purpose. You have a purpose in life. It's your duty to go out and do it. And you have to fulfill that role. There is no other. There is You, you have no choice, right? Though my biggest pet peeve is when I meet people and I go, wow, this guy's smarter than me. And he's yeah. doing anything. He's lazy, right? You can't help lazy people. You can take a horse to water. You can't force it to drink. Understand that. Stop trying to change your family and friends around you. Stop trying to change your business partner. Stop trying to change your clients. It starts with you. Change yourself. It's the only thing that you can control. It's the only thing that you can focus on. Once you start to do that, everything will fall in place. I guarantee it. It's just how it works. Again, you don't believe me? Go listen to all the other multimillionaires. Go listen to all the other happy, successful people. They're going to give you the same exact stuff in different formations and their experience, but it's going to be very similar to what I'm saying. And if you guys start listening to people that are in the position you want to be in, if you don't want to be a millionaire, that's fine. Don't yeah. be a millionaire. Listen to what you want to do. If you want to be the best peer in the world, are you going to be one to listen to me? Don't listen to me. Don't listen yeah. to me. The best parent in the world, go this is someone that's the best painter in the world, right? But I guarantee there's gonna be commonalities, there are gonna be overlaps, which are like the law of attraction, staying consistent, persistent, and there's certain laws or certain metrics that are mm-hmm. implied work for everyone. There's no ifs or buts about it, it's just how it is. LeBron James in basketball, he's training and working every single day. Yeah, he's got a great body for it in terms of athleticism, but he's also wouldn't naturally be that good, you know, straight out the womb. He's got to play. He's got to practice. He's got to train. He's got to get his mind right. He's got to be mentally prepared. Not every shot's going to go in. He's got to control. All these things he's got to factor in. So, again, understand that there is something that you can fulfill in life that only you can do, right? Mm -hmm. Only you can do it. Everyone has different potential capacities. If I did everything LeBron did and more, of course I'm not going to be better than him, right? <laughs> and you have to understand that everyone has certain potential capacities and you and not everything's about money. Don't ever do it just for the money. You're doing it for the result that the money gets you. Is it the impact? Is it the freedom? Is it to help your family? You need something bigger than that, right? To retire your mom, whatever it is. If it's just about the money, you're going to get burned out. You're going to hate it right? And again, you can't chase the money. The money's got to chase you. You're the magnet, right? You become what money loves. When you become the person that money loves, you know, a great salesperson, a great value provider, whatever it is, that's when the money just, you don't got to do anything. The money's going to come straight to you, right? So become Mm. the best for yourself and create that dream life and make it happen. It's so possible. Again, I went out then and I'm just getting started. There's so much Mm. more left, right? There's so much more left for me to do. And then my goal, my dream life is basically to change as many lives as possible. And, and I look mm-hmm. at people like candles, right? And so many people's flame has gone so dim so that they've been beat through life. They give up. They're not, they've lost hope. I want to be that fire that's that's sat over the uh, the candles and all the candles light up. And then those candles light up more candles and so forth. And that's what I want to see. I want to be the light that I want to see in the world. And that's how everyone needs to look at it. You know, if you're complaining about someone, don't be a hypocrite. Go out and fix it yourself. Be the light you want to see in the world. And that's what's going to change people. You know, when you're arguing with someone, that's not going to really change anything. Arguing with them, 
you going out and doing your argument and just performing and being that person that you're arguing about or how they act or should should be doing that is how you inspire and that's how you make a difference that's how you change people truly it's not to mm. force stuff down their throat or whatever it may be so go out be the light you want to see in the world you have a purpose write down what you like doing write down what you makes you happy figure out where the direction the market's going all these different ways to make money and again be very careful on who you give your time energy to who you listen to and be um, be very in control of your thoughts if you see a really negative thought or a sad thought like take note of it be like that's not a good thought let me replace it let me think you know okay this is if this is bad you know happening right now but you know this could also be directing me into this direction or this just means this is that and mm -hmm. you know you gotta just keep thinking positive if you're constantly positive happy and you're doing and you're working your butt off you're gonna get results it's gonna happen just stay consistent don't lose faith don't lose hope you know stay keep your eyes on the prize and just keep pushing you're gonna make it you're gonna do it you're gonna crush it so trey on fire man on fire dude i see the comments is coming through on fire thank you let me shout out i blue sky lights up say thank you trey definitely shout out i love this i gotta put this interview on repeat for my kids school is in session 100 percent. you again it's your duty to imagine you get told a valuable piece of information and then you just hog it you don't want anyone to know would you want someone doing that to you if someone kind of great piece of information right and they were just keeping it from you over and over is that really your friend is that really your family yeah. right yeah and again yeah. It, it may not, it's up to them to make that change, right? But you at least have to plant the seeds. But understand this, if you're throwing seeds on a rocky path, the plants aren't going to grow. So you have to build the proper foundation and you have to build the proper settings for you to plant those seeds, for those seeds to sprout into whatever you want to create, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Talking to the guy who works with all the celebrities and influencers. So I'm, I'm loving on that because you're giving out so much valuable information that when people look back over their life, they can say, you know what, we made the adjustments. Or I shared this video with a friend. I shared this video with my kids. I shared this video with a coworker or a group. And they made those adjustments. And now you're seeing them, you know, level up on a whole nother level. I love that, love that, love that, love that, man. Shout out to you, Trey, for that, man. Dude, Thank he's you. definitely became Smile. with it. Smile, Drew. Smile. You already know Lambo smiling. <laughs> I'm, smi I'm smiling because I of me. I made it on my wall, baby. Hey, I'm smiling. Hey, thank you, man. You better put it on the wall, man. Show, show some love, man. Y'all hey, make sure. Y'all make sure. We're going to say this in a minute because I want to get uh, your Instagram. Trey has almost 700,000 followers. So make sure that you guys jump on the Instagram with my guy, Trey. Uh, and we're going to make sure you guys go follow Trey Kali on Instagram, on IG. Definitely has the dopest guests. And YouTube. Dopest. And YouTube. And YouTube, yes. I, need to grow my YouTube. I just started posting on YouTube. I got to grow my YouTube. Listen, listen, y'all. We're going to put the information up on the screen. I want everybody to go like and subscribe. I mean, literally, once this is over, right, or you can do it simultaneously now to Trey Collie's YouTube. We're going to go ahead and push his YouTube because he's already been pushed in TikTok. He's got millions of viewers in TikTok. He's got millions of viewers on, on Instagram and all of this stuff. We're going to go ahead, man, and get his YouTube up at Trey Colley, Trey Colley, T-R-E-Y-C-O-L-L-E-Y. Y'all make sure y'all go like and subscribe his YouTube channel. Definitely, he's getting ready to go ahead. Well, I'm going to make sure we stay on him, that he goes back on that YouTube and really put a lot more content on YouTube. Oh, 100 you. 100%. 100 Again, th this is just the beginning. I said that you got to you got to really grow your brand, build your brand again. I, it's impact, right? We're, we're on the same page and I want to yeah. be able to, it's, it's selfish of me to know all this stuff in the, in the hog it. So it's, it's again, my purpose is to release this and inspire and to show people the way. And then there's no better feeling than someone DMing me saying, Hey, listen, try, I took your piece of advice three months ago. I just made my first 10 K dollars or I just traveled to my, I finally, I pulled the trigger. I got first class on a flight to see what it is. And the rest is history, you know, and that, there's nothing that can make someone feel better than that, right? So, you know, they're going out and yeah. making a difference and so forth. Because materialistic things, again, you can't take it when you die. You're born alone. You die alone. Those things don't matter. You remember. You are remembered when you die what impact you made in the world. That's what I'm yeah. looking for, right? I want to be known as the person that went out, changed the world, helped all these people 
uni unite and become a better person and to live their dream life. I don't even want to be writing my books. I want someone to write about Trey, how Trey Colley went out and did this, like Andrew Carnegie and Thinking Grow Rich. So that's what I want to see. That's what I want to hear. Y'all make sure y'all get to it, man. Read a journal and write the vision. Love it, Blue Sky. Plan tomorrow, the night before. Love that. That's a huge thing that these we can all go in here to take a piece of that. Great notes. Yeah, these are, these are, yep, exactly. Yeah. You have to know. I like this one. What is your treasure you're reaching for? What, it's a good question. Uh, she said, if you had unlimited funds, what would you do, Trey? <laughs> for me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If I had unlimited funds, what would I do? I would... <sighs> I would re... I would build my own private school systems, and I would rebuild a different version of educational systems, and I'd also start a new banking system. Uh, mm. And to basically... And I'd also start a new internet as well. And I would not, um, basically, I would allow freedom of speech more would be my primary goal. And I would redirect the way education is going to actually elevate and helping people, not giving people a closed box. I don't believe in the education form of teaching people how to memorize things. I want to mm -hmm. teach people how to innovate and grow and, you know, solve problems in different ways. People shouldn't be pe penalized for solving a problem in the way that's not by the books, right? And mm. I want to spread truth. I want us to all be truth speakers and truth seekers, right? And yeah, it would be to change the educational system in some sort of way or fashion would definitely be the impact that I would overall like to make and help people align with their goals and help these kids and children, you know, be aligned with what they like and what they enjoy doing and teaching things that actually matter in the world. So that's so they're not faced with taxes and all these other things, right? And, you know, putting the kids that are going to be geared and more towards math, towards you know, they're those subjects and so forth and having more options and so forth. So there's a lot that I would do in the educational systems, but that's the, that's what I would really want to change. Super dope, man. Shout out to Trey on that answer. Definitely changing the, the education system. We need it from the top down and you know what I mean. Too. Yeah, so, yeah, trust me. Blue Sky says, utilize your brain power. Awesome. My baby said this was a good show. Shout out to my wifey, man. Definitely on there. You know what time it is. Blue Sky say, take the chains off. Shout out to you. Yes, please take the chains off. Oh, snap. Definitely my wife's friend. What's up, Nick Jack? I see you in the building. On fire. Well said. Definitely, definitely. Thanks for the support. Thanks for coming on the Leverage Show, man, and showing mad love out here. Bless you. Yes, definitely. I love it. I love it, man. To see, man, Trake actually on here, man, really going ahead and speaking some Positive, powerful gems, man. This is what we got here on the leverage show. Blue Sky says, stop trying to change others around you and change you. All facts on that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My wife, she say, thank you for joining us tonight, Trigger. Thank you, Trigger Trey, man. You know what time it is. He had to come out here, man, and bless the channel. Don't do it for money. Do it for the results so money can bring all facts on there. Thank you. Check your light. Has your candle grown dim? De definitely on there. The, uh, let the money chase you. Most people are out here chasing money. We need to let the money chase us. Redirect negative thoughts. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely in there. Peace, Mrs. Johnson. Blue Sky showing love to my wife. You know, uh, my guy B, what's up, B, man? B said, oh, that was a super dope answer. Yes, man. That's what happens in everything, man, when the mentality man has come in, man, for to help people be educated on a whole nother level. So shout out to my guy, B Streets, man, out there, man, in Ohio, man. My Ohio people rocking on here. Nick Jack and B on here. I see y'all, man. Y'all doing what y'all do. My guy, Jay Ford, is in the building. Ford Financial Plan and Ford in the house. Thank you, Jay Ford. Listen, uh, Jay Ford, he didn't drop a whole lot of information, man. Thank you, man, for tapping in and stuff like that. Trey Colley, one of the biggest social media influencers who are out there helping people, man, level up their brand. Definitely doing some big things and came to the Leverage Show to help go ahead and drop some nuggets, man. So definitely on there. J4 said, I need to catch the replay. Yes, catch the replay, man. Y'all make sure y'all share this video. Send it to everybody else. Make sure mostly y'all go like and subscribe, man. Also to my guy, J4's channel for financial planning. But make sure y'all definitely go subscribe to my guy, Trey Colley's channel on YouTube as well, man. And show some love, man. This was powerful. This information was powerful. Literally showing people how to go ahead and brand themselves 
and take themselves to another level. And not only that, but to reach their goals. You talk more about mentally reaching goals, inwardly reaching goals, spiritually reaching goals, and then being able to physically reach goals. That right there literally was a full sweep across the board that helped change my life as well as the Leverage Show life. So we thank you for that. Listen, everybody make sure, shout out to your billions, powerful interview, showing love, man. Thank you, billions in here. Definitely, this was a powerful interview. Y'all make sure y'all catch this replay. I don't care if you got to replay this, man, three, four, five times, six times till you get it. There was a lot of wisdom dropped, especially, man, when it comes, man, for the law of attraction in here and understanding how that worked. I have personally used that, and that has truly changed my life and has allowed other people, man, to be networked with me. Listen, make sure you guys, I'm trying to tell y'all this right now. Y'all are on IG. Y'all make sure y'all go follow my guy on IG, man. Here we go at Trey Collie, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow him on IG at Trey Collie. It's all together, though. But at Trey Collie, man, y'all go like. Y'all go, y'all go definitely show some love. Go comment on some photos. Check his photos out. Make sure y'all tap in because Trey Collie is killing it. And for those who really out there who need network marketing, you guys need a whole different brand and really somebody to brand yourself. Trey Collie, man, has some wonderful. We didn't even get into that tonight. We didn't need to. He got some wonderful companies that he's actually ownership of and he's doing business and helping out a lot of people. If you really need to brand out your social media, reach out to Trey Collie, man. And I'm trying to tell you, man, if his quick jump team and anything will help boost you to a whole nother level and allow you to be able to level up on a whole nother level. And I'm telling you, he's did it for me. So make sure you guys definitely tap in. For those and everything who are on YouTube, make sure you guys go like and subscribe to his YouTube channel at Trey Collie too as well. Trey Collie, y'all just type it up and make sure y'all go like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get those subscribe, man. My God, man. And let them already know that we get to go ahead and support your love. Back to my guy, Trey Collie, man. Look, I really want to thank you, Trey, for almost two hours. You have been on here and has literally blessed a lot. I'm going to tell you this right now. Thank you, Jay Ford. I see you, Trey. Just follow you. you we definitely need to connect. Yes, Jay Ford, somebody, man, who's young and doing it, man, and has been a blessing to my life for the few years I've known Trey, has definitely went on here and leveled me and other people around me up, and I've sent them personally, man, to Trey. So thank you, Trey. Thank you for that, Jay Ford, man. That's showing love, man, and really going on here and doing this. Listen, Trey, we're going to let you go because you're in Arizona right now. You is out enjoying yourself. You getting ready to get picked up, Lambo. Make sure you post and you tag Lambo Drew on there and be like, yo, Lambo. I, I told you it was getting picked up in the Lambo, man. And show some love, man. Definitely in Arizona. I, Drew, I appreciate it so much for having me. I appreciate everyone who took the time out of their day to watch this. And again, like, I really hope you guys gained some value out of this. And this is just the beginning of something great. And if we could all fulfill our purpose and do our thing, then everyone's going to be happy. I mean, you got to treat others how you want to be treated. That's the goal of rule of life. And God bless. Appreciate everyone. Appreciate all of your time. Just happy to be here. Just grateful for everything that, you know, God's blessed me with in my life so far. And grateful and appreciative for all the new blessings coming in my life, the ups and downs, because you can't get hung up on the downs. Just because bad things happen, that ain't bad. You just got to go through that to become what you need to become. It's just part of the process. So don't get hung up on that. You need to get to the point where you look at a tree and you smile. That's just how simple life is, right? But, um, yeah, Drew, appreciate you. And we're going to get you that Lambo soon. Don't worry, baby. Man, come on, man. Ship me that it's one. Coming. I'm it's the coming. Person, come on, man. Ship me that one right here and everything, man. Give me that SVJ. That's the next <laughs> one that we want. So if you got – you talk to your guy tonight, say, yo, Lambo need an SVJ ship to Colorado ASAP. Let's get this rolling. Hey, let's do it. I'm ready yeah. for it. Let's do it, man. Well, listen, Trey, thank you, man. Thank you so much, man. Listen, y'all, we are out of time. We are definitely not out of message. Again, make sure you guys go like and subscribe and everything to my guy, Trey Collie, on YouTube, T-R-E-Y-C-O-L-L-E-Y, at uh, C-O-L-L-E-Y. Yes, I said it right. At YouTube, as well as on IG, Trey Collie.
Hey, at IG. Make sure if you guys are following me, man, my Instagram is right here too. Lamb with the score. Drew underscore team. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram as well. And if, if so, you guys can go look at my friend list and see that Eric Ali is on there. And y'all can go ahead and like and subscribe if y'all are having trouble understanding where Trey is at on, on IG. So make sure you guys in a you can't miss him, man, with over 600,000 followers out there. And he's definitely out there doing his thing with the blue verified check mark too. So shout out to Trigger Trey and everything on that. Make sure you guys definitely support. Reach out to him. Anything that he has in business or whatever, I'm telling you guys, it will bless your socks off and bless your soul because he is definitely helping people by the masses. Not just follow him. Go support. Go do what he do. Do some business with Trey. Go really level up because I promise you it will definitely help change your life, man. Trey, thank you, man, again. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your dinner. Tell tell the whole team I said hello, man. Show some love, definitely out to the team. Let them know, little Drew, we coming back. All right. Yeah. Till next time, y'all. Uh, listen, we out of here, man. We'll be back on the same time, same back station Thursday night, eight p.m. Eastern, seven p.m. Central. Right back here on the Lever Show, man. Till then, man, me and Trey, we out of here, man. Love y'all. Take care. God bless. <laughs>